Sandra? Billy? Folks, scene's just about to begin. Settle back in your living room or den. Songs and singing. singing songs we hope you'll stay and tag along cause folk scene is here thank you for joining us on folk scene and um, you know uh, we're getting very 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 close to uh, starting the rebuild of our uh, Stinson's Ranch down at Nags Head uh, and because of that you know we have a lot of people uh, who are kind of following the story mm -hmm. and keeping, you know, uh, keeping questions coming at us and, you know, when are you going to start and, you know, uh, what's it going to look like and, um, you know, how did it happen? You know, there's just tons of questions. So we thought that this uh, week we would do uh, a program and just call it simply the story of Stinson's Ranch. Mm -hmm. Uh, and just cover some of the questions and, and, and give some folks out there some information that's kind of coming along uh, you know, to us. And so uh, I wanted to start off, uh, first of all, by, by just sharing with you one of the, one of the very first uh, pictures. We bought the cottage in 1963, um, and I was in high school at the time. And um, so I wanted to, I was a freshman at East Carolina University. And I wanted to show you this picture right here. So I'm going to get up and, and do a zoom on the camera. So, Sandra, if you'll hold this, sweetie. All right. Uh, this, this particular image was done in uh, my uh, class that was with, actually was with Donald Sexauer. And uh, it was a print class. And uh, I'm trying to get a little zoom on it. Okay, perfect. And... Uh, and so it's a woodcut, <laughs> you know, and it's, uh, there's a lot of uh, problems with it. But I, I, I think the first and most obvious problem uh, with the image, no, no, honey, kind of keep it, drop the left side. Okay, perfect. Um, the most obvious problem is that it's backwards. And that shows you how little I knew about printmaking at the time. Because I was all excited about the imagery and everything, and of course it's titled North of P. Island, and as you can see, you know, everything is backwards. If if I could hold it up to a mirror, uh, you would see, uh, you know, the cottage uh, in its uh, cor correctly, and there are some actual structural uh, issues with it that um, that uh, are in existence. The the pump house is uh, kind of built out to the side, and that's not the true. True image. But anyway, this is a real collector's item for, for the Stinson family because it was done in 1966, just three years after we bought it. Um, so anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Okay, now let's get back. Whoops. Okay, now we're back to the... Okay. Oh, and I hear and you. And of course, since then, Billy has done... A few... I, I'm I'm trying to, to to decide whether to say hundreds. I guess hundreds. Yeah, probably so. Hundreds of drawings, prints, silk paintings. Uh, I mean, just everything, every way you can think of to well, you depict know, I, the cottage. He has done that. I, you know, I was uh, of course in uh, uh, I studied art and, and was majoring in art, and, and I was taking an art history class, and I remember. Uh, Paul Cezanne uh, and, and his paintings, and, and one of the things that he did was he painted uh, mountain, that was at Mount St. Victoire, I believe. Vic, Vic, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Miss Stinson. Victoire. Victoire. And he did that picture over and over and over again. And, and I used to look at the, uh, I used to look at the uh, images, and they were just, uh, he would always do it different. Everyone was different. So anyway, I want to show you the picture behind us. Now, this picture behind us uh, was done in 1973, and uh, as you can see... Is that oil painting? No, it's, a, it's an acrylic. Acrylic. Yeah. And uh, let me kind of zoom in here a little bit. 
And you can see, first of all, that there's a lot about the cottage that is really different. Uh, number one, the, uh, there are no pylons here. If you look right here, uh, this was a single rail right here. And of course, the photographs now, which we will show you, have pylons going down this area right here. And uh, my, my father added those years later when my brother started having children and he didn't want the kids to fall off into the water, which was, would have been no fun. So that's one thing that's different. Another thing is that this, uh, this is the original uh, walkway right here to the cottage, and, and it's only about two feet from the water up here to this uh, wooden plank, which made it extremely uh, vulnerable to high water and storms. And I mean, how many times, you know, have, have I actually walked down this with water uh, and waves breaking over the top of this? And of course, another thing that's really different, when we bought the cottage, the land was just right out at the edge of the pilings. It was still in the water, but here was a portion of a seawall, a break wall, that the previous owners had put in there to try to stop the, the uh, erosion. And this was a lot right here. This was a, a lot that belonged to someone else. And of course, their lot, the cottage that was there burned and so forth. So uh, this was a very, very precarious entranceway right here. And of course, you know, when, uh, when we went down there and bought the place, you know, we didn't know anything about cottages and beach property and things of that nature. Uh, we just thought the place was really cool. And... Uh, and bought it. And Billy's parents bought it in 1963. That was the right. year that uh, that they purchased it. Exactly. And so we bought it in 63. Um, now I thought one of the things you know people are people are saying um, you know it's a vacation home. True, uh, it is a vacation home, but it's it's a whole lot more than that. And we've heard, you've probably heard us say that many times on the show. It seems like over the years, you know, it, it began to take on a character of its own uh, beyond us and beyond uh, the fact that it was a cottage. It was very, uh, uh, of course, it was listed on the National Historical Register. But more than that, it, it became a place where you could go and, and it was almost like once you got down here and walked out that walkway, you were over the water, and suddenly everything just seemed to change. It did. It did. It was a, um, a real place of refuge and peace, and um, and people really felt that when they entered. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, they, did. they really did. Do you want to read a few? Well, yeah, here's, yeah, here's something right here. Um, I think this is what I wanted to read. It said... Um, well, now, hang on a minute. Uh, do you have it? Oh, yes. I do. Okay, here, I've got something right here. It says, uh, it, uh, it has been two years since we have been here, and I am so glad to have been invited again. Uh, it says, uh, it, is, it is still a place uh, of peace and quiet, uh, a wonderful place to relax. It really takes effort on my part. Normally, babies have to be asleep. House must be clean husband must be preoccupied and so forth and the list goes on and on uh it says thank thank you stinsons for sharing your special cottage with others i truly feel blessed to be here um now you know <laughs> i want to read this because i actually was looking at this entry right here um which is from um a friend of ours, and she says, uh, and it was in 1999, and um, it was neat to think of another generation who will love this place. She talked about the kids, it, her kids being there, and actually, I think uh, her grandson was there. Right. Right. And so she said, uh, well, she said the kids so enjoyed the weekend as did Jess, and Jess was her grandson. It was neat to think of another generation who will love this place. Right. And then right above there, Oops. 
was an entry from someone not at on the same weekend, but um, I don't even and know at the is. end, I don't either. I think Just it was somebody who was down there with Aaron. But anyway, it said happy 100 years because uh, in 98, 99, we were celebrating our right. 100 year. Mm -hmm. And then it says keep this house standing for another 100. Yep. And that's what we're going to try to do uh, by rebuilding. Now, here's what it says. Well, I just have to say... Uh, this place is awesome. I keep telling Amanda that this place is just like summer camp. The slamming of porch doors, hardwood floors, rusty beds, personal fans, picnic tables bring back such wonderful memories of my almost 10 years of frequent visits to various North Carolina 4-H and YMCA camps. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Great observation. Yeah, that is. That is. Um, um, let's see now. Oops. What have I got in this book? Uh, this is ship log number three right here. This is number um, mm. eight. Okay. Or 12. I'll hold the what mic. What is that? That's eight. Okay. All right. Let's see here. This was a family that went down with Amanda and Hayes. And I'm not, it's a long yeah, entry. Yeah, don't read, uh, yeah I'm not going to read the whole yeah. thing. Okay, good. Thank oh, you. Oh, how I good. love all the memories made here and the time to build on great relationships. We will leave today very relaxed, refreshed, and closer. We so appreciate our time at the cottage. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. May the Lord Almighty always protect this special cottage. Okay, let's see here. Actually, this is from um, our pastor and his wife, and um, she says, I am up early, being reflective, contemplative, meditative, and prayerful. Of course, loving this cottage for that reason. More, move, more, what does that say? Or at least as much as for the fun stuff listed above. I read a ship's log from two years ago with my entry and again confirmed that the passing of time and reflecting upon it reminds me that each day is a gift from God to be enjoyed and used to the fullest to bless God's heart and love and serve others. The sunset last night reminded me of you and all your great sunset pics. Mm. Uh, yeah, it, you know, uh, I... I, I the 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 things that we're sharing right now, I think, are just confirming the fact that it was just a very special place. Uh, and uh, I've got a few more to read here. Would you okay, like to hold I'll the hold microphone for me? Okay. Thank you, man. Okay. Uh, here's one that this is from. Uh, this says. Uh, okay, it says, "What a wonderful weekend! I love your place. What a blessing it is." And that you're able to bless others. My first to the Outer Banks, and I loved it. Thank you for your hospitality. Um, here's one right here that says, um, oh, I should have marked it. Um, Thank you so much for welcoming us into your home. It was really fantastic uh, for sharing, uh, for sharing this uh, somebody and his dad to reconnect to reconnect with a part of their past and I really enjoyed my glimpse into their family history as well along with the general lounging, reading, relaxing, napping lollygagging and so forth and so on i tell uh, anyway uh, and then I have another one right here that there's many more but we're just trying to pick oh, this is, I love this this was in uh, 2004 uh, I love this place a ton. I've found lots of cool stuff. I love the loft. That is where I usually stay. It's so cozy in the loft and downstairs. I love this place, and I hope you do too. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. That's precious. I have um, one here. I got down here yesterday afternoon. This actually is a young lady who has become a single mom. Um, and I have enjoyed a peaceful time here. So strange to be here without my family. 
uh, but I have been relaxing. There is so much inner turmoil going on in me these days, and it was nice to enjoy laughs, play chess and paddle ball without worrying about all that is going on in my life. So That's great. Just, That's great. just speaks to the fact that it is uh, a refuge for where's the, where's the sheet of paper that had all the list of stuff many. on it? Right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me... Let me take a look at that. And have you got the? Uh, I did not bring my clock in here like I had intended, but I sort no, of know what you've time. got. You've got the uh, National Geographic. Yeah, okay. Well, why don't you talk about that just a minute? Yeah, we're going to kind of go down the list. Yeah, the Our State Magazine. Many of you may remember, um, two years ago, the Our in, State Magazine. Yeah, in 2010. Here. Can you hold this and talk yes, at the same time? I I'll, can. I'm going to zero in. All right. In 2010, uh, Our State Magazine did a great. Uh, probably about a 10-page article on uh, Stinson's Ranch. Um, they sent an interviewer, and they also sent a, um, a photographer. And uh, we, uh, let me find the right spot here. We, okay. All right, let's see here. Where is it? We, were, we, were so, we felt so fortunate that uh, Our State Magazine uh, did this article and... Um, you know, it was just an absolutely incredible uh, account of the ranch itself. And uh, this was, of course, the opening page right here. But they sent a photographer down from, from Raleigh, and uh, he took over 2,500 photographs. He stayed with us one night. Jimmy Williams was his name. And uh, anyway, hold this a minute. I'll get okay, that all right. Um, the article is called A House Above Water. And uh, actually, the article is written by Marimar McNaughton and um, anyway it it is full of these wonderful photos and and a great article about some of the history of Stinson's Ranch and about um, the wonderful things that have taken place there um, uh, it tells the story of our tree which at some point I'm sure we have told you about on the show. We won't go into that right now. But Here. Um, anyway, we are, uh, you want to go into it now, huh? <laughs> I just wanted to show this. Okay, all right, all right. Want to hold that? Okay. okay. Yeah, this is, the, this is a photograph of us in front of the tree that I carved our initials in 40 years ago, mm -hmm. right before I went into the military. And, of course, there's a very interesting story behind that. Uh, that we tell in song, uh, uh, and we also the story was also told in this uh, article in uh, our state. It was the May 2010 issue mm -hmm. of our state, and uh, again Jimmy Williams took the photos. And when the um, when the cottage was destroyed by Irene, uh, Jimmy Williams, who was the photographer, sent us this wonderful book. This was this this book right here, he put together for us, and of course this is what he said. The uh, what he wrote in the front of it, he said, uh, "Billy, Sandra, and family." Saying that your family is just an ordinary family would be like saying Stinson's Ranch is like another beach house. I was so lucky to experience both on my 2009 visit. Every corner of your cottage was touched with love and meaning. One could easily see that everything had a heartfelt purpose. I hope in some way this book allows you to cling to some of those lost memories. And of course, Jimmy took uh, over 2,500 photographs, as I said. Hold that in right there. And uh, it was just a, basically a collection of just wonderful shots that he took of us. This is the family sitting out on the deck singing. And that one was actually in the magazine. Right, and, and this is where we spent so much time with so many people uh, over the years. Uh, and, of course, the therapy, uh, just, you know, hearing the water flowing under the cottage, seeing the sunset, the wind, the birds, you know, there was just so much there that uh, just took you beyond the fact that it was a, was a cottage. Yeah. It was more than a house. You know, they say a house is not a home. It was, you know, it was more than, you know, anything you can imagine. And, and uh, I mean... We would show photographs to photo to people, and then we'd take them down there, and they would say, uh, "You know, photographs just can't do this. Right. Just can't tell the story." Uh, 
we are, of course, uh, building back. And what I want to do now is I want to take a little break. Uh, I want to show the, the large one. Okay, all yeah. right, but we want to talk about the fact that it's in here, don't we? Go ahead. We? Okay, all right. Now, um, the cottage uh, was destroyed by Hurricane Irene in August of 2011. And um, our, a friend of ours who uh, works for National Geographic did this wonderful article uh, called OBX in National Geographic uh, June issue of this year, 2012. And uh, one photo of our, of our cottage appeared in there, and it, the photo was from 2010. And now he gave us a copy, a large copy of that. this I'm photo. Gonna, I'm gonna zoom in on it okay. He gave us a large copy of this photo also, uh, actually before it came out in the National Geographic. This was a day when uh, a storm was rolling in, and as you can see, the black clouds, it's really hard to hold this, I'm sorry, excuse me, wait a minute, all right, I got it now, okay. There's a reflection, so hold it like that right there. All right. Um, there is a black cloud rolling in, and of course, since um, since the hurricane uh, came, we, we often look at this photo as being a little bit prophetic with that black cloud rolling in. But um, anyway, Dave Harvey was the one who took the photo and did the article in National Geographic. And he, um, he loved storms and, and the wonderful photos he could get from that. And so this was a, uh, uh, a sample of that that appeared in the magazine. And of course you can see lots of wonderful things about the cottage. Okay. Um, do we have the words to uh, the song? Um, I, do, I do not have them. You picked it up and got them somewhere. Oh, here they are. Looks like they're right there, I think. I think they're right there. We do have, uh, normally we're, we're doing lots of songs, or at least three or four songs in a in a show, but we're just going to do one this time, and it's a uh, it's an old Kenny Rogers song. Put your heart in it. Yeah, this is the song seems to be real appropriate to to what we're trying to do. You know, we were uh, we were all uh, totally and completely despondent, depressed, down. You know, you can't imagine any word uh, th to describe what our family was like. And then we got you know word from Kama that we were able to build back and... Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't and, have uh, a hand to do that. And it's been, you know, it's been a tough road, but we've, uh, we're have we just right on the edge. And as as the building is taking place, we will, of course, uh, show footage on, the, uh, on that. And I'm gonna close the program out showing you some video footage uh, of the cottage and the destruction, but we want to do this. You're doing before and after. Yep. Okay. We knew it was one in a million. It was such a long shot, but somehow we got here together. Who knows what can happen? Anything can happen if we keep on believing when you put your heart in it it can take you anywhere who's to say that we can't make it it's the same dream that we share This road was so long and winding. It was such a hard road. But we couldn't stop what we had started. We were always getting closer. Suddenly it happened. The chance of a lifetime. 
that we're gonna take it when you put your Uh, you know, this song, you know, there's a couple of lines in here. We were always getting closer. You know, we, we can feel how close we're getting to this. Um, and unfortunately, as we've said many times, you know, we did, just did not get uh, any insurance money. We didn't get anything. And we're having to uh, raise the money. And to do that, we don't have a brochure, do we? We don't have a flyer? We don't. Okay. We do. We do. So people understand this. I, I would like to say this. We do, well, we do have a loan. I mean, we got a loan from the bank. It just wasn't enough, and and so uh, we're, we're raising we're, money. We're by doing the, our part. Yeah, we're, I you mean, know, we're selling not artwork, asking for handouts. Selling artwork, uh, doing some singing, some shows. Uh, we have a, a show coming up this Saturday in uh, in Little Washington at the Union Alley Coffee House Saturday night at seven o'clock. That's and, June thirtieth. Yeah, June thirtieth at and, seven o'clock. And uh, the Union Alley Coffee House is right one one. One building, a uh, one store away from the Turnage Theater. The old Turnage Theater. There's the Theater. Turnage, and then mm -hmm. there's Pia's, and or P was Pia's, and then there's the Artisans Market. It's actually called the Down East Artisan Market. Inner Banks. The Inner Banks Inner Artisan Banks Market. Artisans so Market. You go in there and go right straight to the back. Uh, so come out and come out and give a listen. Uh, uh, yeah. That's one of the ways we're raising money is giving concerts and. Uh, uh, charging admission for it. We we never have done that. And um, it's one way we have of raising some money. Okay, are we, yeah. what are we doing yeah, now? We're, we're going to end the show. Ending yeah. song? The okay. ending song, yeah. And then you're going to put the. Um, uh, yeah, if I have time. But okay. uh, we have very little. But anyway. Uh, All right, thank well, let's you. go then. Okay. So, so you'll uh, have time. Okay. All right. Uh, how does it start now? Oh. That's been folks even till next week. <laughs> That's been foxing until next week. Keep the faith and always speak. Words of truth filled with joy. Write a song, buy a toy. Play like children filled with love. Don't forget the man above. Be a light to those you meet and will see. Next week, and uh, we ask you to uh, invite you to go to our uh, website, www.friendsofthecottage.com. We'll tell you a lot about it, and uh, we're and we're, also Facebook yeah. page. We have a Facebook yeah, page, and you know we are we are so encouraged that that you know everything the money's going to come in. We believe it. It's it's uh, you know we're picking it up here, we're picking it up there. A lot of people have helped, so you know we just. Uh, <coughs> Just want you folks to know out there that uh, we're doing our part and doing what we can, and we believe the Lord's going to provide we do. what we need. So, we do. Anyway. And we are on Facebook under both Friends of the Cottage and Billy and Sandra Stinson. So right. check us out. All right. We'll see you next week. <laughs>